Hey, this is Jungle Jenna with Little Birdie Art, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about my Hades and Persephone project. So, for the past four or five months, I've been working on a graphic novel retelling of the Hades and Persephone myth. Um, I've been thinking about the myth since I was 14, because at the time I was a huge Phantom of the Opera fangirl, and, you know, those two stories have pretty distinct parallels the Phantom of the Opera being based off of the archetype that uh, the Hades and Persephone myth sort of put a name and a label to. Um, I, even though I've been thinking about the story for a long time, I didn't really become more focused on actually doing my own version of it until about two years ago. A girl, she lo was looking at my other drawings and paintings and she liked my style and said that she was interested to see how uh, how I would portray Hades and Persephone. Um, and I was really flattered that she said that and sort of associated my style with that myth because I had been thinking about it for such a long time. And it wasn't until then that I got really excited about actually doing my own version. So I spent quite a bit of time thinking about how I wanted to portray these characters just because the story has been rendered by other artists and it's been rendered very well. <laughs> so that was my first challenge was, you know, because looking at some of the other artwork, it's become a little bit ingrained in my conception of these characters. And, and so I had to remove myself from what other people have done to really think about, okay, well, how can I, how can I convey the story and the characters in a way that feels personal to me and my style? Um, and I'm, and by saying that, I don't mean that I'm doing something with the story that hasn't been done before. Um, it's just more like, how do you do it in a way that feels authentic to you, I guess, is what I'm trying to convey. So I, um, I think right off the bat, I wanted, I knew that I wanted, um, Hades and Persephone to look Greek more like in the ancient style of the word. So I wanted to stay true to kind of the kind of like an ancient Greek aesthetic, um, aesthetic or with the, with the fashion. So I've taken inspiration from like the ancient Greek sculptures and sort of the representations of, of like those mythological figures. Um, I've also, you know, checked out a lot of kind of fashion books that go into a lot of detail about, um, you know, about like the ancient Greek style of clothing but at the same time, I've wanted there to be a lot of flexibility with sort of my interpretation of even the fashion, um, because I don't necessarily want it to be something where I feel like I have to like abide by all of these rules. I, I just wanted something to, um, I kind of wanted that to be the foundation and then to have enough flexibility where I can alter things to my own liking so that maybe that expresses something about, about that particular character. Um, and like for, uh, Hades, I really wanted him to look, uh, both sort of severe, but also kind of extravagant. So, um, I actually kind of have drawn multiple sources of inspiration just for his aesthetic, um, and the way he looks. And I'll get more into that, like when I do kind of individual, uh, character profiles or sort of the concept and, and what it took to develop, I guess, the way that they look and everything. Um, but yeah, so, uh, you know, I, you know, at first I didn't really think I was going to do like a full blown project. I thought I was going to do more like just a couple of pictures where I drew Hades and Persephone and, and there was just a very brief overview of the story and then I would be done with it. But then I found that I had so many other ideas for where I wanted to go with it that I was just, I just became kind of fixed on these characters and it's been really fun. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow on other related social media. So thanks again for watching, and see you later.